want to start a YouTube channel but don't know how to build an intro, stay tuned. Coming up next on Frax Tech, we're going to walk through step by step how to build a YouTube intro video. What is the good word, sirs and dolls? My name is Frank Alexander, and this is Frax Tech. Today we're going to be talking about how to build your very own YouTube intro video. With that said, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys. So the first thing you're going to need to do is to download a couple of things. First off, we're going to need a video loop to use as the video background, and then you're going to need some intro music to overlay on top of it. First off, for the video loop, where I pulled mine from was a website called movietools.info. But if you were to go to Google and just do a Google search for royalty free video loops, you'll come up with a number of sites here, some of them free, some of them paid, that are royalty free looping backgrounds that you can use to create your intro video. Now you do want to make sure that they are royalty free. What that means is that they are free for you to use any way that you please. So you can use them to make your intro video without having to worry about somebody coming back and um, filing a copyright complaint against your video or your channel. So anyway, with that said, where I pulled mine from was the site movietools.info. On their video background loops, there are a number of different loops that you can choose from. And um, you can go through here, you can look at the different ones that they have, and just look for something that might be of interest to you. So you can click on one, let's say we want to preview this, and you can check out the preview. The full screen previews on these, I will say they look very, very blocky, um, very low res, but what I have found is uh, that they're not they're not a full 1080p download, um, but they're not low res either. From watching my YouTube intro, you can probably tell it's a little better quality. Maybe not full 1080p, but it's high enough to work for me um, in my 1080p videos. Now the one that I used, I'm just gonna do a quick search for it here, is loop 132. All right, you see loop 132 there, so let's go ahead and pull that up. And you can preview it here, and you'll see that's the loop that you see during the Frax Tech intro. So let's go ahead and minimize that. The next thing you would do is just to download. Now the type of file that you download it in really depends on the video editing software that you're using. Uh, personally, I use Adobe Premiere Elements, and I found that WMV files work best for Premiere. So that would be the one that I would download. So just go ahead and click on download, choose where to save the video, and go ahead and download it. I'm not gonna bother downloading again because I do already have it. Now the next thing that we'll need to do is we'll need to go ahead and download some music to play over our intro video. So the website that I used to get my music from was miha.co.uk. I'm probably butchering that, and if I am William Hugh, um, the creator of, of Miha, I'm really, really sorry for butchering the name <laughs> the name of your site. Mija, Miha, I don't know. I don't know if it's pronounced like Spanish. So I did go here and I was looking. He's got a lot of free sound effects videos. Um, a lot of different stuff that you can use when creating your own video content. So what I did is I went to his copyright free music and I just started going through and listening to the different files. Um, if you wanted to preview them, you can just click on it. Oh, actually that's the download, I'm sorry. You would just click on actually the download file. <laughs> that's actually the Frax Tech intro that you're hearing there. Um, but yeah, you can listen to the different ones. And pick one that you like. Um, now, like I said, the Frax Tech intro uses this backline one. So if I wanted to download it, I would just right click on that. Click save link as. 
and then save it in my music folder. As you can see, I've already got it here, so I'm not gonna worry about downloading it again. Now, if you don't find anything on Miha, you can always, once again, go back to YouTube, do a search for copyright free music, and there's gonna be a bunch of sites where you can find free music. Now, the other thing I will tell you is that Google um, actually has a really nice repository of free music that you can use in your YouTube videos. If you just go to your channel, go to your dashboard, click on create down here, it takes you to the Creator Studio. And in the Creator Studio, you're gonna find free music, ad supported music, which only works if your site is not monetized um, because the monetization will be going um, toward the use of these songs and then also royalty free sound effects so let's say i wanted a sound effect in my video of uh, gunfire there you go or how about a, a guitar so anyway there you go you've got a number of different sound effects you can scroll down through here um you can save favorites the other nice thing is if you look um, if you go to the free music library, you can actually star uh, the songs over here to the right. And when you star them, they go into your favorites folder. So say you're not ready to download them, but you want to keep your favorites saved. You can save them here and then... Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother... And then you can play them back uh, there. You can download them. Um, I've downloaded quite a bit from YouTube's library, but I think what I'm going to do is start saving these favorites so that I can come back to them and download them as I need them. Um, just a little easier to organize them there, and it's not taking up space on my system. So anyway, there you go. There's your, your video loop, your um, copyright-free music, and now that you've got both of those downloaded, we're ready to go ahead and start editing our video file together. So you'll wanna go ahead and open up your preferred video editor. Like I said, I prefer to use Adobe Premiere Elements. Um, this is Premiere Elements 2013. So if you have that, you can actually follow along with me step by step here. If not, um, building an intro really is not a, an overly complicated video editing process. So this will be pretty similar across uh, platforms. So regardless of what video editor you're using, it's all going to be pretty similar. The first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and we want to create a new project, which I've already done. You can actually see up here, intro, video, tutorial. You just go to file, new, project, um, set your settings up that you want. Um, all of my settings, all of my videos are done with this DSLR 1080p 30 setting. Um, you can choose whatever setting that you want, whatever works best for you. Yeah, I've played around with it a bit and that's the setting I like. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and jump back into my intro video tutorial. And then we're gonna do project assets and I'm gonna go ahead and import the video and uh, music clips that we downloaded. So the video clip is here. And I'm sorry, it looks like I'm dragging these out of nowhere. I've actually got them saved in a file off on a second window there. Um, but so anyway, there's my video file. Here's my song. <clears throat> All right, and we're ready to go ahead and start throwing this together. So the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and drag your video loop down. And I always like to work in video one, since that's where Premiere intends for me to work on my primary video. And the first thing I would recommend doing is cutting this video length down to 10 seconds. So you can see my timer right here, um, right there. And I wanna cut this down to 10 seconds perfectly. Now the reason I say that is if when you're doing a YouTube intro, you don't want it to be something overly long. You don't want people to get bored during your intro and leave your video. So I don't recommend going any longer than 10 seconds. And you can adjust that time as you build it out. If you need another second or two, you can add it. If you find that it, your intro is coming up shorter, go ahead and cut time off of the end of it. Um, the Frax Tech intro is actually only eight seconds long. 
So try to keep it as short as you possibly can, but still get your point across. All right, so we have the video is loaded in there. Now let's go ahead and, oh, not our video, we need our audio. And we're gonna drag our audio in and put it in for the um, soundtrack. All right, now the first thing you will want to do is to go ahead and get rid of the audio track here. So let's go delete audio. Okay. And then we can actually drag this up to audio one is fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And we're gonna clip off all the excess music. We don't need that on there, so let's get rid of that. Okay, and let's just preview it and see what we have. All right, so there we go. We've got the basic video loop. Now the next thing we need to do is to just go ahead and stop that. The next thing that we need to do is to add our text. So to add text, you just go up here to this text option, hit new text, default text, and that's just gonna give you one line of text here, and it's gonna put it on video two, which is good, that works for us. Let's go ahead and hide our project assets for right now. And we're gonna highlight this and we're gonna change it to our channel name. So of course for mine, it's Frax Tech. Now the other thing that we want to do is we want to make sure we select a font that we like. Now for Frax Tech, um, the font that I have chosen that I personally like best is a font called um, Voxbox. So let's go ahead and select that. We're going to change it over to Voxbox. Voxbox is actually a very, very tiny font. So in order to get it the size that I want it, I actually have to blow it up to a 400 point, sometimes even larger than that. Let's do like a 450 point font. Um, so we'll go ahead and blow that up and we'll position this where we want it. I actually want my logo to appear right here and we're going to set it right there and then we're going to go down to our timeline here and you can move this around. You can put it if you want to put it on a different video track, you can, um, but I'm going to keep it on video track too. But what I am going to do is I am going to push it toward the end of the video and I'm going to shorten this down. So you see here that's at about five seconds this is about seven and a half so you're looking at about two and a half seconds there so if we preview this again real quick you see it pops up there lasts for about two and a half seconds and then it goes away so that works i am happy with that but the but the next thing I want to do is you'll see when it cuts in here, it's a really drastic just pops up. So we want to make that fade in. So if we right click on it, we go up, we select fade in video. And I also want it to fade out. So let's right click on it again and hit fade out video. And now let's preview that. And you'll see how it does a nice fade there and then goes away. Um, now you can control how quickly or slowly that fades in and out by clicking on that down arrow and let's say I want it to fade in a little bit quicker you've got your points here you just adjust them so let's say I want it like that let's see how that works there we go that way it fades in a little bit quicker stays solid for a little bit longer and while I'm at it here, like I said, I know my intro is eight seconds long. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna set my time for this at eight seconds, and then I am going to clip this video audio one right there. And we are going to do a delete and close the gap. And then we're also gonna clip the music and delete it. So that shortens our video down to just eight seconds. Now you'll notice with the Frax Tech intro, I have a few different um, things like the unboxing reviews and how to's that pops up. What I have done there is I have utilized all of these video tracks and you can add more video tracks if you need to in Premiere. Um, but really with just the four, I'm able to do what I wanted to do. Let's go ahead and actually, no, I'm sorry. I actually did I have to add, I had to have five. Um, to do what I wanted to do. So I did have to add an extra video track, but that was no big deal. But anyway, uh, for demonstration purposes, I'm just gonna show you one more. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do the default text. 
and let's say we want to change this to unboxings okay and then I'm gonna highlight it go ahead and change my font again back over to Voxbox change my sizing now for my logo I did 450 for this I'm gonna do 400 I want it to be slightly smaller and apparently I missed the letter there all right so there we go we have our um, unboxings now the next thing we want to do is just position that where we want it so for unboxings let's say I want this up toward the top of the video I also want this clip to only be about two actually on this one I'm gonna do like maybe one and three quarters seconds something about like that and we're gonna do the fade in fade out again fade in boom fade out boom for this one for some reason it's only giving me the one spot maybe because the video clip is so short um, but you'll see I can use the same video tracks since these aren't happening at the same time I can go ahead and position this let's say we put it right here and we preview it goes away have the other two pop up and then my frax tech one all right, so you would just repeat the same process that you used for the unboxings um, to add in any other text that you would want. And that just does a simple fade in, fade out. You do have um, quite a few effects and transitions and, and moving text, things like that that you can add in. I prefer to keep mine really simple. I don't like a really flashy intro. Um, so that's how I decided to go with mine. So once you've got all that done, the last thing you need to do, if you're using Adobe Premiere, just go to your share and publish. Now with the share and publish in Premiere, you do have the option of um, actually outputting directly to social media. So if I want to upload directly to YouTube, I could certainly do that. Um, personally though, I like to archive everything that I do. So I go ahead and I choose computer. I also use the AVCHD, apparently I can't talk tonight, and the presets I do the um, H.264 1920x1080p 30 frames per second. Just put in your file name, hit save, and it'll output your uh, finalized video. Since um, my computer is a little slow, not terrible, but a little slow at outputting um, or rendering video. I'm actually not going to show you guys that, but you get the picture there. So there you have it, guys. Once you've done that, you do have your um, intro video for your YouTube channel. If you guys have any questions, feel free to uh, leave a comment down below. Of course, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I thank you guys very much for watching. Once again, my name is Frank Alexander, and this is Frax Tech.